Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I've found another couple of interesting clips that you can recreate on FIFA 22 to have a very fun create clip save. So we're going to be looking at five clubs that all existed in real life this time. They've all either been relegated a lot of times so they're not on FIFA or went bankrupt or defunct in some way so they don't exist at all. But the good thing this time is that they've all had kits in real life so we can recreate them on FIFA while I tell you some interesting facts about why you should go for each specific team. So let's get started with probably one of the weirdest teams I found while looking for ideas on any video on this channel ever. It's Argonauts FC. If you haven't heard of this team, they were founded in 1928 and they actually were dissolved only two years later and they never played a single match. They had agreed to use Wembley Stadium back when it had an 127,000 seat capacity if they were ever to be approved into the Football League. They were founded by the England Amateur International Team's captain and he had an agreement with quite a lot of the other international amateur players that if this club got approved, they would all join it and play together. The Football League was approving around two new teams each year based on votes from other clubs that were already in the Football League. So Argonauts FC applied for Football League status in 1928. They finished third with 16 votes, which isn't bad, but because only the top two got approved, they didn't make it in that first season. The club went inactive for a year. Because they were amateur players, they didn't have to pay any wages for that season. And because they didn't play a single match, they didn't have to pay anything for Wembley that season. They applied for membership again in 1929, but once again came in third, just one vote off getting second place. And the season after, they applied for one last time, and this time got zero votes, and decided that maybe the Football League wasn't for them. The club would have been interesting, something similar to Queen's Park in Scotland, where a massive amateur team plays in a huge stadium, and probably wouldn't have been that successful or that important, but still an interesting little tidbit in English football that you can recreate on FIFA 22. Sticking around in London, another interesting team that I found looking for good create club ideas was Viking Greenford FC. They were actually founded as just Viking, and they were founded by a team of factory workers in the post-war 1945. The first couple of seasons were spent touring the UK, playing as many friendly matches as possible to raise funds for their league application. And they even did a tour of the Soviet Union in 1965, which included a match at the Yuri Gagarin Stadium, named after the first man in space, where they lost 10-1. They also did a controversial trip to Czechoslovakia in 1968. But unfortunately for Viking, this also unexpectedly coincided with a sudden Soviet invasion of the country, forcing the team to make a 300 mile sprint to the Austrian border in the team coach to avoid becoming trapped in the country. Vikings started off in the 14th tier when they were founded and made it up to the 9th tier by the end of the 60s. But they sort of stuck around the 9th and 8th tiers until 2003 where the money ran out and Vikings ceased to exist. I think it would be cool to recreate Viking, maybe as a Scandinavian only club, that would be pretty interesting going for the name, or maybe try and find out where they went on these friendly tours and try and sign players from that kind of region. So the Soviet Union, maybe go for Russian players and the Czechoslovakia ones, obviously is the Czech Republic and Slovakia as two separate nations these days. So maybe try and sign players from teams they went on tour against if you can find a list. Heading up north quite a bit, going into Leicester, Back in 1900, when Leicester City was still called Leicester Foss, a Sunderland supporting quarry worker decided to found a team called Enderby Town on the outskirts of Leicester. Eventually, this team would be known as Leicester United, and because Leicester is one of the biggest cities in the UK to only have one team in the top eight divisions, there's definitely room for a Leicester United to take the spot of being the city's second biggest team. Some equally sized cities like Leicester include places like Edinburgh where you have Hearts and Hibs both very well supported. Even places like Nottingham where you have Forest and Notts County, big cities with two teams. And that's what you're going to be trying to do with Leicester United. In real life, this team made it up to the 6th division and managed to stay there until 1982. But by 1996, as many clubs on my lists do have, they had some severe financial difficulties. They had a few relegations, and then after a few games into the 1996-7 season, they went out of business because they just couldn't afford to play the players anymore. And then once again, Leicester became a one-club city. The goal for this save would of course to be try and overtake Leicester City eventually with Leicester United. A pretty tough challenge, but I think it would be a fun one. 
Heading a bit further up north, we're looking at Scarborough FC as our fourth team on this list. They're one of the oldest teams in the region, formed in 1879, but they were actually wound up in 2007 with debts of over £2 million. Scarborough could be one of those teams that's still with us, however. In 1998, they qualified for the League 2 playoffs, but lost to Torquay in the semi-finals. You imagine if they'd gone up to League 1, they might have had a little bit more money and maybe still be a football team to this day. However, only a season after this playoff defeat, they managed to get relegated out of the Football League and they would never play in the EFL ever again. To try and keep themselves afloat, the club tried to sell their stadium and build a smaller one, using the excess money to pay off the historic debts and also pay for the new ground. However, the council said that the stadium could only ever be used as a football stadium. You're not allowed to sell it to build houses on. Because of this, the club went out of business, and as soon as it did, the council bought the stadium off it, removed this restriction, and it's now a little supermarket, which seems a little bit unfair from an outsider. A fan-owned Phoenix club was created only a couple of weeks after the original one went bankrupt, and currently they're playing in the 7th Division Northern Premier League, so they're only a couple of promotions away from the Football League where their original team spent so many years. It really could be a tough challenge, but I think it would be a fun one, so I do recommend you give it a go on FIFA 22. The final team on this video is going to be Hereford United. So Hereford were a team that became famous in 1972. They managed to knock top flight Newcastle United out of the FA Cup a season before they were elected into the Football League. So that's the same as being in the conference these days. They were promoted out of the 4th Division into the 3rd Division in 1972 and they won the 3rd Division in 1976. They only lasted a single season in the 2nd Division and were relegated the season after. But it is still a massive rise in this decade where they went from the 5th Division to the 2nd in just 6 years. Hereford would go on to spend 19 seasons in League 2 until they finally got relegated out of it in 1997. Eventually, they were expelled from the conference in 2014 due to financial irregularities. After they disappeared, it was found out that they actually had debts of over £1 million, which is quite a lot for a 5th division team, as I'm sure you can imagine. However, Hereford was also known for having quite a lot of rivalries with different teams. There was Worcester City, which was their fiercest rivals, and there was also Cardiff City and Newport County, who were rivals in the 70s and 80s. But it was the derby against Shrewsbury Town, known as the A49 derby, which is the road that separates the two towns, that was listed in the top 20 fiercest rivals in English football, only a couple behind the likes of Everton and Liverpool and Manchester City and Manchester United. So it is a big derby, a passionate area to build a club. And with Hereford's location being so close to Wales, of course you can get a bunch of Welsh youth players in your youth academy too, and it will be quite realistic. So I do think that's quite a fun little challenge if you do choose to choose Hereford. Hopefully you like at least one of the five teams I've told you about in this video. My personal favourites are Argonauts because I had no idea that an amateur club could even afford to lease Wembley Stadium. But let me know who your favourite is in the comments or if you've got any create club ideas, drop them below because I'm going to be doing a video with some of your guys' ideas as well. Join the Discord if you'd like to talk to me about any of them as well. But thank you all for watching and I'll see you very soon for another video. Thank you and goodbye.